That's the logo for Boggy Spark. So, I'm guessing this museum is an official part of the tourist attraction. I hope they don't charge an interest fee. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. That museum is quite a nice building. Which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. The door is jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around. Just until the gap in the middle is clear. That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Let's see here. This journal belonged to the explorer, who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. Hmm, I'd better take a look at this. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. The museum was founded by the explorer many years ago, in a different location. It's only recently been moved here to be part of the truest attraction. That might explain why it looks so out of place. It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. Copyright MCMXXXIV. That would be 19... 1930... 1934? Boggy playing the piano. He's having a grand old time. There's a little door in the wall here. I think it beats outside. It's locked, though. Models of Boggy's claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. and jars. Ooh. I don't like things in jars. Unless the thing is marmalade. These are skulls? Oh, they're just models. Creepy models. Books about Boggy and other mysterious creatures. I'll read them some other time. So, let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, Detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here, 
I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> There's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The Swamp Creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, People have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners at least. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. The latch is broken on the store. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading. Though, I'm not sure what else there is to do up here, actually. There's a book on the table. I think it's a book about flowers. How oh, fascinating. I must take some time to read it. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. It makes very little sense. A little blanket on a little... It makes very little sense. I'm indoors. What a treat. Hmm? You just walked straight into my house, did you? Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but... To be honest, I climbed all the way up here, and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him, 
or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. 60 years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow, how do you do that? Chemistry. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron. Then tap the faucet. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Got it! Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. Predictably, a trash can. And I just can't resist taking a look inside. The glamorous life of a detective. My favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash in here. Hello, what's this? Just a piece of paper? Or something more sinister? Really talking about a swamp creature here? design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph, I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here, and I think these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. For you. Another gift already. Where are you keeping all this stuff? You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. What key? Mm, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. Although, I recommend you try it on that office door. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. A shipwreck? In a swamp? 
Does that make any sense? And why is there a cafe growing out of the side? There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge leads up through those trees. Do they expect tourists to climb up there? It looks dangerous. There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge leads Do they expect tourists to climb? A shipwreck? Yeah. And why is there a cafe? There's a little locked door on the side of the ship here. I think it's part of the cafe. The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship. I think. Never really learned much about ships. <laughs> ah, yes. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. At your service. Well, uh, kind of. And uh, you're a suspect, too. <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. What's so challenging about an old swamp? The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. For better or for worse. My advice to you, look to the past. It could be the way forward. So, you sit in this boat all day and sell food to people? To tourists, I guess? Not just the tourists, but the employees too. To anyone who is hungry or thirsty. I know everyone's favorite foods. What are they? Oh, and is this a real shipwreck? How did it get here? I can't expose all the secrets of the swamp. I don't want to spoil your fun. Is there a secret to this shipwreck? No. You just spoiled my fun. You'll find out there are some secrets worth keeping when you've worked here as long as I have. Well, how long is that? I've worked in the swamp almost as long as Mr. Remington. We knew each other for a long time. Really? So what was his favorite food? Mr. Remington enjoyed a specialty only I can make. The bog dog. He ate one nearly every day. A real creature of habit, that one. It looks like a hot dog. It's similar. But I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. I'm not serving them today. Why not? Yesterday I found this strange green powder in my entire supply. Guess I'm out of luck today. Well, thanks for the information. You've been a real big help. Wait, wait, take this with you. If you get thirsty, it's the most popular drink in Boggy's Bog. Swamp juice. Try it. It looks like... it looks... Ah... Uh, well, I'll try some later on. You're in luck. That's my last bottle. A lot of swamp juice has been disappearing from my stock recently. I can only assume I must have been selling them all. Did something strange happen at the cafe yesterday? Richard Remington left the cafe feeling ill after Hopper sold him a bog dog. Hopper is basically in charge of all the food and drink here in Boggy's Bog. I'll have to ask him about this. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect, but I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? A bog dog he ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. 
You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a barn dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? You're going to ask me about what I was doing last night. I was going to? Were you going to tell me anything? I was working here at the cafe in the evening. I had a couple customers. Eventually they all left and I locked up and went home. Do you lock away everything at night? Not everything, just the storeroom over there. You mean that little door on the side of the ship? Is there anything else to lock? I leave the chairs, tables, and trash can where they are. Lifting things like that is not a job for an old man. Don't you have anyone to help you? Mr. Remington liked to keep us down to his skeleton stuff. There simply aren't many people who would choose to work in a place like this. A skeleton staff? Well, that's convenient for him since... Don't make that joke. I won't laugh. Someone made a costume to look like the creature. They must have known it would get a reaction for sure. But I wonder if they planned things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in the trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm. It does seem like someone was designing a costume. A disguise, perhaps? I don't know. Try to think why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. What could they achieve with it? I don't know. Not yet. <laughs>